In our last conversation, we spoke two days after President Joe Biden stepped out of the race. We talked about the historic nature of the moment, and you said that because it was an unprecedented time, we have to listen and learn. Now it's almost a month later. We listened. What did you learn? I learned that voters want an alternative, wanted an alternative, and are glad to have an alternative between rehashing 2020 all over again. I learned that younger women who are so eager to participate in this election because they like the choice that they have now, that they've been energized, it's completely changed the makeup of the election. I learned that Republicans were as likely as not to capture everything when we last talked, the White House, the Senate, and the House. Now it is as likely as not that Republicans lose everything come then. And I also learned that there are people who simply don't want to listen and don't want to learn and only have their own narrow points of view. That hasn't changed. And so I'm still pessimistic about where our country will be on election day and how we're going to proceed when one candidate wins and one candidate loses. Who are those people, do you think, that don't want to listen, don't want to learn? Are you talking about candidates? Are you talking about pundits? Are you talking about voters? It's all of us. I've been engaged in this email exchange to a well-known actress, very, very talented individual who doesn't like it when I'm asked a question by you when you're going to do it. What advice do I give to Trump? What advice do I give to Harris? She does not want me to give that advice. She literally wants me to say to you, I can't answer that question because I don't want to help Donald Trump. And they, and they, and they don't understand that our job as unbiased, impartial observers is to analyze the situation and then provide guidance based on 35 years of working in this industry. So this is great because I'm actually going to send this segment. If you air it, I'm going to send it to her saying, what do you want me to do? Not answer a legitimate question, not take part in a discussion. We can't behave that way. What is wrong with us as a country that we so demonize each other, so resent each other, hate each other, that we would undermine the responsibility of a fair and accurate media, that we would refuse to participate and answer legitimate questions. This is what I'm learning, and this, and it makes me feel really bad for, for the future of the country, because we're not seeking to listen and learn. We're just seeking to promote our own ideologies and philosophies, and that's not what democracy is about. It just isn't.